You take the moon and you take the sun. Wait, is that Brick Breaker? Is that really just Brick Breaker right there? I freaking love that game. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> so what, do you eat the brick though? <laughs> Wait, it does, aw. Oh, doesn't even finish the game right there. Oh, come on. Like, I, I was hoping it would finish the whole level before being cooked into a dish, but... So what happens if it doesn't finish the game? Do you eat the other bricks that are floating in the air? But I freaking love, like, retro video game references like that. Brick Breaker is such a classic. Hey there, friends. Got a chatter reaction for you with the spookiest house in Marzipan. Hold on. We have a Halloween episode? Oh, right. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on, no. Hey, Gaspacho. <laughs> Why were you sleeping in a chest? Because of mother? Okay, that's neat. I really do like that they go more, you know, creative with these intros. The last time we had a Gaspacho intro like this was the Christmas episode. And that was a big one. <laughs> well, I'm a fish. I don't have any pants. <laughs> because of mother, right? Oh. oh. Who is that? What? Wait, hold on. Why were there small pants for a gigantic arm like that? I'm pretty sure those pants won't fit him. Also, Gaspacho, why are you stealing another man's pants? Got something to tell us, Gaspacho? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> oh, whoa. What's with this angle? I don't think we've seen this angle of the store before. But how spooky are we talking about? Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> why are you wet in your... <laughs> Why does Shadow look so adorable like that, all covered up like that? And also, not a pee joke, it's a water bottle! <laughs> it is scary though. Oh. <laughs> what? Those are sound like schnitzel, right? <laughs> Same voice actor? Oh! Oh, he's scared too! Oh my goodness! Not again with the water bottle joke. Even Schnitt, yeah, I get it. It it's very they're very loud sounds. I'm not a fan of them either. It's just very scary, especially when it happens out of nowhere. Like, all of a sudden, it's a nice day. Shame on you both for being scared. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, my goodness. Jeez. Oh, no, don't use me. Oh, my goodness. It's much worse. Oh, see, it's truffles with morning face. Why was he attacking over me, though? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Schnitzel, where to get them legs? <laughs> I just realized the legs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Looking good, Schnitzel. <laughs> what the? A burger phone? What is even going on in this episode? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah? Oh. Ah, gotcha. But hold on, this episode is getting way random already. Going from the water bottles to schnitzel's legs, though, that Beast Boy will be salivating for days, but... Oh my goodness. Dorky? 
<laughs> hey hey we already went through this episode we already went through this episode do you really want to go back to the water and that's like come to me my babies time for babies outside oh oh my goodness look at that art style whoa oh <laughs> thank you mung doll are you kidding me why did we get a family guy cutaway right there that happened three days in a row they're like, remember the time? Hey, Mung, remember the time? Mung Dog, remember the time? <laughs> gomu Gomu, no stretch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're letting him off go to his doom. This heavy metal, though? All right, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Not Mung Dol just dragging the scene. We gotta get the episode going over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm dying here. What? Why is it so low quality zoomed in? <laughs> Oh, oh, that actually scared me a bit. What? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Go for it, Gaspacho. Oh. Oh my goodness, Chowder. Wow. Hold on, though. There was a lot going on. This episode is already chaotic as it is with the randomness, the dragging the scene, and Chowder saying, that's a lady? Wow. Chowder, Gaspacho's hitting on this fine lady over here, okay? Checking me out. Checking you out. <laughs> Checking me. Gaspacho, like, swears underwear when he takes a shower oh. because he's scared of being completely naked. <laughs> okay, that's just strange. She has that lovely voice. Oh my goodness! Oh, she doesn't look bad. Yeah, I agree right there. But dang! Oh, <laughs> I gotta stop pausing at perfect moments. What is even going? On? I just wanted to talk that big lady right there. That was a giant woman if I've ever seen one right there. Gorgeous too. Gaspacho has great taste. Gaspacho, I need your help <laughs> this delivery to a really He's so scary cute though. Because I'm a big chicken. He's so now, cute. Now, Can't the you see him talking to Chowder? What is going oh, on? Right. <laughs> so what's up, everybody? <laughs> I need your help delivering this to a really scary house. Oh my house. goodness. <laughs> Not that creepy house across the street from Mums. Rumor has it that a crazy old lady it's is getting visiting. super oh, random. Oh. Okay, that's really scary though. Eating hard candy? Bingo? Who plays bingo? Da 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 bingo! Da 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 bingo! Super fun time bingo! Da 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 is that true? Okay, okay, okay. You win. I'll help you. Oh Just my goodness. Just chill. Who you play dirty? He does. Wow, Chowder is getting smarter this season. Like he's doing like he's got he's becoming a better singer. He's actually using his brain this time. But after what happened last episode with Gaspacho tricking them to make that blast rats delivery, Gaspacho deserves it. He deserves it. But also. Yeah, we seen Gaspacho without his fur. That was the Brain Freeze episode when he gave Chowder his fur and he was just very skinny underneath. But the whole being scared of being naked thing. Scared from who, mother? Oh. 
They're gonna stop doing that. Hey, I'm, I'm getting spooked. Go up there. I'm not going up there, you go. You're going to make me crazy. Because the place I ain't going is up there. You go. Oh. Oh. A water bottle broke? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gorgonzola? What the? <laughs> he just... He just... That's what he does? He just lights up a lamp? What kind of job is that? You're, yeah, I know you're an apprentice, but does your boss also go in one as well? What kind of job is that? Here, That's a bad that. job. I'll take the delivery <laughs> to the house. <laughs> yeah? No I do love the art style here, though, sense. right? Oh. <laughs> That's amazing! I love that it's scary because of the bad joke, not the talking trees. It's just a bad joke right there. It is a bad joke. If you have to explain your joke, you know, it's already bad enough if you gotta explain it. Oh! Whoa! That is also a big old lady right there. Whoa, what a scream! <laughs> Guess Vacho? I, th I thought he was hiding in a bush. <laughs> oh, no! Don't ever put me in your pants! Don't ever do that, no. You don't ever do that. You, you, you can use me as a weapon to hit truffles with, that's fine. But putting me down a gazpacho's pants, I am not accepting that. No thank you, his water bottle just broke, all right? I don't, I don't want that. What happened? We found you passed out behind some bushes. Really? <laughs> Was I naked? What, yes, why would you, it. what? Gorgonzola came what do you mean, yes? He wasn't naked, yes. what? Oh my gosh, this is, <laughs> are you dead? You are, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I knew it! We never really got to know your character on the show! <laughs> so, how are we gonna deliver the sandwiches now? What? Are you crazy? There oh my no goodness. Way. I am risking my life again. Oh my goodness. I. There were so many things going on. Why was Gaspacho naked and then. <laughs> no way. Gorgonzola can never find anywhere to oh. up for him, so he wears girls on your way. What? Okay, okay, okay. I'll help, man. Wow. Oh, That's what I was saying. What if we lured the crazy Dang. lady out of her spooky house and then bumped her in the head? Where is Chowder learning these dirty tactics from? I don't know what happened between season two and three, but Chowder is playing dirty this episode. Literally saying Gorgonzola wears girls under. Wow! Question is, how do we lure her out? Hi, lover. Oh! oh. <laughs> Chowder, I've got a trick what are the numbers? Bingo! 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 Fun, super fun time, bingo! That cake do look good, though. Oh. We can use this. Old ladies love bingo and cake. <laughs> and I'll that cake. Anything but that cake. I mean, super convenient that the cake is there, but that cake really do be looking good though. Also, do you see Chowder's hands? It looks like he's holding on to Panini right there. So all the Chowder and Panini shippers go crazy for this frame alone. Take Panini, oh. just not the cake. <laughs> that creepy. Hit. Not the fish. Don't use me. Oh. Probably lots of blood and guts spewing everywhere. I can't watch this. This is way too scary. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm I'm coming. Yeah. I think mother's calling. Gotta go. But bye, Gaspacho. Just one of the neighbors, ma'am. I I thought I'd bring you a delicious bingo cake. I mean. Do you eat the bingo balls too, though? 
I am really curious about that. But also, Trouty, you seem to be way far away from the door. You can't reach her from where you are. You can't, you can't use me as a weapon if you're not going to use me correctly. Use fishes correctly. I love eating numbers. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean hold? No. What is going? What the heck? Oh. What do you mean hold? Chowder. My head. Ow. Okay, now I understand the sadness. I completely agree. Yeah, Panini and Gorgonzola and but the cake, yeah. <laughs> Child, are you dimwit. I was gonna say, I thought you had a big brain this episode. But nope, you just have a dirt you just have a dirty you just you just play dirty. That's it. That's that that's it. Oh, it. Time to oh now it's personal, right? Oh Chowder, did you come to rescue me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. he's like kirby he's really like kirby if you never played the game kirby squeak squad kirby was enjoying a slice of cake it got taken away by the squeak squad but kirby doesn't know that so he goes to kill king Dedede for his cake slice literally how many games go it's like kirby's enjoying a nice day now he has to go kill King Dedede, but really, it wasn't King Dedede, it was something more evil. But we still have to kill King Dedede anyway. And who do we have here? Oh. Hello? Is that mother? My friends, mother. Oh. The ones I told you about. Oh, how lovely. And this must be the little boy from across the street who was supposed oh, to Oh, no. Son, I was just about to touch that oh. <laughs> You mean Gaspacho's mother is actually good This is messed up After all this time we actually get to see mother and it's actually just him is Gaspacho okay? Is he okay? I Oh no so, you mean he's been arguing with himself the entire time, and he wanted to get his mother to clown college and everything? <laughs> this is messed up. May I please oh. have another piece? Wait, what? Oh, yes, dear. Let me get <laughs> Wait, are we not going to talk about... G, for a minute there, I thought you were going to hack us all into little pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's after Cloffy. Now oh. eat up. <laughs> now eat up. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now that was scary. So wait, that So wow, that was a dark ending, wasn't it? So presumably they would have been sliced up into many pieces right there by Gaspacho's mother, who's actually Gaspacho? And apparently everybody's okay with it after all this time we I mean Yeah. Good thing it wasn't real. Oh, was it? Oh wait, I can see the green screen. Can you see the green screen in his fur? Yeah, yeah. If you look in the fur, it's green screened out. You can see the green screen in there. It wasn't chroma keyed perfectly, but I can, I can, I can see why. There's a lot of fur to key out right there. It must be hard to key out all that fur right there. But if this is real, then I have many questions for Gaspacho. If his mother is actually him, wow. How do I get these teeth out? Oh, the oh wait is that it right there? I guess that that oh that's how the episode ends. To be honest, I thought this was gonna be a two-parter because just like the last time we saw like Puppet Gaspacho introducing, it was a two-parter. It was a big episode. So this being just a episode surprised me. But what a crazy random episode though. But. Is the whole thing with Gaspacho's mother actually being Gaspacho? Like, that is, is Gaspacho okay? I'm actually worried for the guy now. But, still a crazy episode. The episode did spook me out a number of times, but the creators handled this wonderfully well with 
the horror and the scariness and everything. Like, it was a very good episode. I really did enjoy it. Especially at the end where Chowder only came in because of the cake. Not because of his friends. Smacking him out the way. But it was just for the cake. Kirby would have done the same thing too. Kirby does everything just for the cake right there. But it was really mean of Mungdol, Schnitzel, and Truffles just to... Put, just to kick him out. Schnitzel used this Gomu Gomu no powers to stretch him out of there. Close the door and everybody's like, where's Chowder? I don't know. It reminds me of the My Big Fat Stinking Wedding episode where we had young Chowder and Mungdol's like, I'm going to go in this cabin. Go find us those mushrooms. Leaving little Chowder out on his own before kidnapping his little stinky cloud, you know. Kimchi. But... Yeah, this was a crazy episode. I enjoyed it. Hope you did as well. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment about what you think, and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'll catch you next time.